Morning, Steve Freddy in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, overnight, uh, soybean and, and wheat prices are lower. Uh, corn's a little bit lower. Yesterday we had a wild day with uh, the corn market in the December contract uh, finally trading over the 100-day moving average for the first time since December. There were a lot of rumors in the marketplace because of the wet spring that farmers may end up planting as much as one to six million less acres than what they had intended. Uh, in 1993, which is the last year we had this kind of wet spring, uh, the farmers ended up planting 2.4 million less acres. If we push the numbers and everything's all right from here on out, we can still have a higher carryout and lower prices, but it puts a lot more pressure on the summer weather pattern and the final yield if farmers do plant le that many uh, less acres. Uh, overnight, um, as far as the beans are concerned, we're hearing rumors that China is trying to cancel cargoes out of Brazil. They're trying to cancel some of the old crop uh, open sales here in the United States and even a few new crop cargoes. This may be due to less than expected demand, but more importantly, just a big import uh, numbers that are coming in now after large April shipments out of South America. That could be weighing on the nearby beans. We also get the feeling that in this last rally, U.S. farmers sold quite a bit of beans to U.S. crushers and they have good ownership for June. And we continue to see the basis levels drop uh, as they um, don't really need the beans until maybe after uh, the end of June. Over in the wheat, uh, there was a report that the U.S. found an unapproved uh, non-GMO uh, variety of wheat uh, in Oregon. Uh, there was reports this morning that Japan may suspend uh, imports of U.S. white wheat and feed wheat because of this. Um, there is no concern about health safety according to APHIS and so this is not a big issue but it is offering some resistance to the wheat market. As far as U.S. weather is concerned, there's rain in Kansas that's going to move into Missouri and Illinois over the next couple of days. It's unwelcome rain for those two states. We also have some rains across the northern plains. Uh, this could all slow up the completion of the planting of the corn crop. Uh, next week we've got a midweek rain event that we'll be watching pretty closely to see if that also uh, drops more rain in the areas that really don't need it right now. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.